One of the important points in history which affected me as an African American growing up in the United States was the historical fact or so-called fact that Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492. And this concept was taken around the world. You'll see it in Urdu, in Mandarin Chinese. You'll see it uh, throughout Africa, all over the world, that he discovered America. And I traveled to different parts of the world, and I asked the people who discovered America, and they said Christopher Columbus in 1492. But my question to them was, how can you discover a place when the people are living there already? <clears throat> Try to understand this. This is a type of um, educational imperialism. Because if you are saying that he discovered America, you are saying that literally there was nothing there before. It's though you, as though you come to an island with only monkeys and pigs and birds. So you're the first human being. So you can say, in a sense, I discovered this place. The reality was something much different. And to add insult to injury, in 2017, replicas were made of the, of the Nina and the Pinta, two of the ships of Columbus. They were made in South America and, and they were taken all the way up the coast of the United States and put into the Great Lakes. This was to celebrate Columbus Day. And Columbus Day is one of the most important holidays in the United States. Columbus is, is, is probably one of the uh, most frequently used names for American cities. And so 1492 is a pivotal time in history, just like you have B.C. into A.D. with Christ, right? Before Christ, after Christ. 1492 is, in a sense, uh, the beginning of the Renaissance. It is the change in civilizations. And so it's a pivotal point in history. So we need to learn how to deconstruct information. And this really is the essence of uh, our course. It's our methodology that we deconstruct information. We take apart the information given to us and we reconstruct it, going to original sources in a more objective fashion. So for instance, if you look at the Columbus myth, you will find that indigenous people lived in this part of the world for thousands of years. Some historians say between 10 to 20,000 years people have been living in the Americas. There are theories of Asian people coming from Mongolia, Siberia, across the Bering Straits in the north and populating Canada, going down into the US, Central and South America. Also of people coming across the Pacific, Polynesian people coming across on their boats and populating South America. So the indigenous population uh, is not a new population. And when Columbus and his family or his followers came into the region, Columbus stayed on the islands, but his son Ferdinand went onto the mainland. When he reached the mainland, he found pyramids, hanging gardens, high civilization, over 75 million people living in this part of the world. So the reality is, if we are deconstructing information, then how could we say that Christopher Columbus discovered America? How can we say this? This is a strange way to approach information. Because in actuality, we could actually say that Columbus was discovered in 1492. You see how we deconstruct? We don't say Christopher Columbus discovered America. He was discovered in 1492. Because he didn't know where he was. He thought he was in India. And he called the people Indians. And this title stays up until today. We say Amerindians or American Indian. It's not India. This is a major mistake. And we will be looking at this in our course to understand what the Americas actually are.